started. And welcome everybody to another episode. Not episode, another stream. This time we're actually doing Fallout 2 again. <laughs> I know, it's been a while. It's almost been a month. Because I've been busy with homework and the only streams I've been doing have been Ah, I'm done with the homework for today. Let me relax and play a game for a few hours before going to bed. But this time, I've got my homework done early and starting to get ahead of stuff, so I'm here. Also, I'm here in the middle of the day, pretty much. Though I am uh, incredibly uncertain about the quality of my homework. Or rather, I'm uncertain about the quality meeting their expectations. Because I feel like I have a good general gist of the homework. Or I should say the, what we're, we're actually doing. But I do not know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I think I've got what's done, what's needed, but the instructions are incredibly unclear. And so I'm just like, well, hopefully, hopefully it's all, all, all what's intended. Okay. Now, on to the fun part. We're playing some Fallout 2. I'm learning what I actually need to be doing uh, out in Gecko, because I actually don't, I don't, I know there's something of like, hey, make a bargain, not bargain, but like a be diplomatic and go like, hey, Gecko has this thing and you need this thing. How about some trade? And, you know, all that good stuff. But I don't actually remember how to actually do that. I just know, know it needs to be done. Sure. Who's this? What's in here? Seems like a box. This this must be the ghoul of James Bond. Hey, I'm Wooz. What do you want? Who's who's? You want a sit? You want a drink, eh? Well, what we've got our very own gallon gold beer at five dollars a bottle, and for special occasions, our Rotogen rum at twelve dollars a bottle. <laughs> want to buy a round of your fabulous gallon gold beer? For everyone here. You want to buy a round of drinks for everyone here? Must be really hard to be hard up for friends. And it'll cost you 35 dollars. Cost is of no object, my good sir. I'd like a round of drinks for everyone here, Woos. This is how you make allies. And, uh... Yeah, could you tell me about this place? Not much to tell, really. It's a bunch of ghouls clinging nationally to the ass end of life. Well, I'd say that describes a lot of describes a lot of people doing that. That may be so, but not everyone has a city full of lunatics thirsting for their blood. What do you mean? Those assholes in Bot City. If anyone's gonna cap us, it's them. You're fucking crazy. Anyone's anyone's not just as fucked up in the head as they are, and they want to kill them. Wait. That is they are, and they want. To... That doesn't. That doesn't work. I'd rather. I'd watch myself around them if I were you. Sounds like good advice. 
I'll, I'll be careful. Let me ask you another question. Though. I run this place. You dumb. I sell drinks, trade for things, tell stories, play tragic. And the stories. I've got this great story. It's really funny. You see, there's this hat. A hat? Yeah, it's a hat, but it's not attached to a body. You see, it's been severed. A severed head, I see. And this becomes entertaining win? Yes, hold on a moment. This severed head, you see, is in hell. <laughs> and it flies around there, you know, in hell. And it runs into all kinds of famous people there. <laughs> Wait. The severed head in, in, is in hell. And it flies around doing what? Well, it's doing stuff. It, you know, it's got things that it wants to do. Or maybe things it's forced to do. The point is, it's doing stuff, you know. There, in hell. Oh, ah. <laughs> I just can't stand it. Hmm. And obsess about this, don't you? Hmm. You and your mother close. Do you have our problems with bed? What? <laughs> why, are, why is there only the... You're an idiot. <laughs> no, you just don't understand. It's all about a seven head, get it? <laughs> Funny. How can you... Can you think about it? How can you think about a seven head in hell of all places and not laugh? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Why, yes, of course. That's very funny. Aha. Uh -huh. I just can't contain my amusement. But enough enjoyment. Uh, splitting sides, I need to ask you something else. Where do you have to trade? Trade? Hmm. I'm always ready to trade tragic cards. I've got a couple of old Vox movies, a Black Dahlia, some Rare Earths. Hmm. Yes, I'd like to trade. He doesn't actually have anything until I get probably like a tragic deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's all from there. Nothing too fancy. Besides the, besides the fact that bought the goals around the drinks, learned that the Vault City absolutely hates Gecko, and namely their inhabitants. Hello there, my name's Lenny. How can I help you today? <laughs> What do you do around here? Well, I help, help mostly. Or when people get hurt, help them out. Help power do what? I help the minister of the town. There's always more paperwork to do. What else do you say you did here? Well, I help Harold mostly. When people get hurt, I help them out. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. May I ask you something? Mm -hmm. You ever heard of a gek? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard that Vault City had one of those. That's the only one I've ever heard of, though. Well, my ancestor, the Vault Dweller. The Vault 13 owes us one. You need to be able to find it. Hmm. I don't, didn't actually meet the Vault Dweller. But I saw them once. I saw the Vault Dweller. Interesting. It, it was a long time ago. In a place called the Crowley. A lot of us ghouls live there. One day I saw someone running through the city. Running. Yes, running. You, you see, we ghouls can't run too much anymore. 
So I knew it was an outsider when I saw them. They ran by so close I could have touched them. Wish that I had joined the vault dweller. You wanted to join? You wanted to join my grandson? Yes. I had the chance of a lifetime. I blew it. What do you mean? Later, I heard that the vault dweller had fixed our water system. The vault dweller had saved us. All of us. Do you understand? It didn't matter that we were ghouls. For once, it didn't matter. We were people again. Worth saving. My ancestor was the founder of, the, of our tribe. That memory is revered amongst my people. Amongst my Later, I heard that the Vault Dweller destroyed the source of the mutant army. Vault Dweller saved all of us, human and ghoul alike. Could have been part of that. I lacked courage. I've never forgiven myself. Also, I totally forgot who the name of this dude. However, I don't think it was Harold, because I think it was that he helps Harold out. <laughs> I'm sure that the work you do here amongst the ghouls has value. It was, a ghoul. it was good to hear of my ancestor. Let me ask you something. Oh, that, uh, um, does he have anything? Nope. Goodbye. That was, that was cool. That was a cool little, like, lore catch-up, in a sense. Like, if you've somehow played Fallout 2. Actually, I can't say somehow. Because as a kid, not as a kid, because I definitely could not touch any of the Fallout games, but as a younger, as an older teenager, when I did, was able to play the Fallout games, I played Fallout 2 more than I played Fallout 1. That's for certain. I think at least. Then again, I really don't know too much. I know I... Hello there, smooth skin. Hello. I help keep this town running. That's the, this is our buddy Harold with a tree in his noggin. He's the best of the best. And even in Fall in Fallout 3, we get to meet him again as a tree. He's a very actually I don't remember if he's happy at that point. Hmm. So let's get skin. Is there a reason you call me that? You cut with the dull edge of the knife, don't you? You don't look like an orange peel left in the sun all day. Your skin's still soft and pretty. That is fair. Well, let me ask you something. What you need, youngster? Mm -hmm. What do you do around here? <laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. This place is coming apart, then? Well, sort of. Our atomic reactors are mind-sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but... <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. Hmm. So how bad is the situation? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean, they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day, I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig walla. <laughs> well, that does sound like it's something quite bad. Oh, yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but... <laughs> We came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. Well, it's a good thing you're here to help them, then. Who'd 
thought I'd be making things right. Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. I gotta say, Harold is pretty dang smart. So, what is a hydromagnet magnetosphere regulator? <laughs> well, technically, it's a thingy. Okay, well, what is it needed for? Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now that means anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> well, definitely is no good. What would you get one of those? Well, I'm certain those ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Not that they'd share. Hell, even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> hmm. So you say Vault City wouldn't give you the part. Would they still not give you the part if they knew that without it, or with it, the groundwater wouldn't be polluted anymore? Well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> Not much chance of that happening. <laughs> hmm. You may be right. Still, someone could convince them that they should help you. They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. Hmm. What if I could tell them for you? Ask them for you? We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. So what happens if you don't get the part? <laughs> if we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. What will you do then? Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. Just, just one more time, let me know what the name of it is so that I can write it down. We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it needs to be installed soon, or we have got some real problems. So, now that we've got that planned out, who do you buy your fuel from? We get our fuel from the Broken Hills. That's a mining community some way south. Interesting. I think. Well, I'm certain those ornery bastards. Well, okay, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own. They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bunch of need, youngster. Oh. Da -da -da. Is there a place I can barter or trade here? Well, you might try talking a woos over in the harp. You can't miss it. Just across the way. <coughs> okay, so I might have to wait till day you need, before master. stuff is available. Mm -hmm. so what about the tree growing out of your head? Jealous? His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. All right, Bob. Your Bob will know the answer to this. What you need, youngster? So, I'm, I'm curious, do you know anything about a gek? A Garden of Eden creation kit? A gek, right? Well, I seem to remember vaults had those. Don't know where you'd find one today. That's unfortunate, but thank you for your time, Harold. I'll see what I can do about your power plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, close this point, okay, 
That's a well. A well. And what's up here? What's up, that? Ooh, more. Cool. Hello there, Percy Crump here, Master Merchant in this locality. But you can call me just plain old Aunt Percy. Yes, you can. Heck, everyone does. Now, what can I do for you? It's from during the... It's going around town. Not a whole lot, now. Not a whole lot. New here in town? I hear Woo's rooked some newbie out of a black orchard the other day. Hehehe. <laughs> Anyhow, other than that, my friend's Wood, my friend Woody's done gone missing. Missing? Tell me more about that. Well, you see, I had a friend named Old Woody. And Woody, he can sleep like nobody I ever did see. What's worse, he likes to travel. Really likes to kick up the dust, that one does. Well, and it, it ain't so much of a problem around here, that is, but last I heard was Woody was going to take a stroll over to the den. You know where the den is? Yes, I do know where the den is. Go on. Well, anyhow, like I've been saying, that ain't so much of a problem around Gecko, but you see, people in other parts ain't so used to, used to the way we look. Can't you put two and two together, friend? I'm worried that Woody might have taken himself a nap in the den. It's a long trip, after all. And then they would have buried the poor cuss alive. I need someone to go look for him there. I miss him. That's why. Oh, I see. I don't know what's in it for you. Go on. Well... I know where I can get Harold a, a, a hold of a heck of a lot of pre-war stuff. Stock of genuine Radix Radway. Don't do me no good, no how. But I figure that that ought to be worth something to a smoother like you. You gonna take the job for it or not? Only, I'll only pay you off if I know what is safe. Yes, I'll do it. I'll get back to you soon. Okay. So, back to the den at some point. If I had to guess, he's in um, the Slaver's Guild as one of the potential, one of the slaves in there. So, just like the, what's his face? Um, sister, I can also free. I can free uh, two for one. Saving two people for the price of one slaughterhouse. What's this dog about? It dog does not do anything. It toilet. Okay, what's in here? Okay, nothing fancy. Just want to check to see really if there's just anything of anything. So far, just a whole lot of nothing going on. Oh, who's here? Hello there. Ever notice that every Brahmin has its own personality? Well, if you watch them long as I have, you sure notice. Hmm, interesting. Who are you? Well, my real name's John. Everyone out here just calls me Lumpy. Why Lumpy? Well, it's sort of a joke, you see. They usually call people like you and me smooth skins, but I was pro treated so poorly by by other smooth skins down in Vault City that everyone here figured that 
I may be more lumpy than they are. We were treated poorly in Vault City. Well, they said I wasn't human enough for them. Some sort of radiation resistant. Perfect for here, but they didn't like it. Treated me like dirt. Really? One day, I just couldn't take it anymore. I figured that dying out in the waste was better than living with those assholes in Vault City. So how'd you end up here, then? Well, a caravan from Broken Hills found me and brought me here. I've been here ever since. One thing about the ghouls here is that they care more about what kind of person you are on the inside. It's like a big family. That's good. I'm good to hear. What's all that junk in the yard? Well, some of this junk is left over from what they were building the reactor before the war. The rest of this stuff, uh, I just don't know. Skeeter collects all kinds of stuff. Who's Skeeter? <laughs> My legs are getting tired, so we're going back to sitting. <laughs> Okay, back to city. My legs were tired. I was standing even for 30 minutes. It wasn't even that much. Well, Skeeter's some sort of... Well, Skeeter's sort of a mechanic. He'll take apart almost anything that you bring him. He gets most of them back together, too. Hmm. Sorry about yawning. Sooner or later, sometimes things end up working better than they did before. Where is where where is Skeeter? Well, he's right here. Just open your eyes and look around a bit. Sheesh. Do 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 do. I'm guessing he's over here. Hello there, my name's Gordon. Gordon the Gecko. Hello, Gordon. I'm Beldrum. What do you do here? I look for opportunities. Opportunities? Like what? I look for ways of maximizing... <clears throat> I look for ways of maximizing my potential worth. <laughs> Sounds like greed to me. I'm greed. But most people don't understand greed. Greed is a powerful driving force. Throughout history, mankind's greatest achievements were driven by men that wanted to better their positions. Driven by greed. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Hmm. I'll take your words for that, Gordon. What does that greed, greed have to do with Gecko? So far, not much. But in greed lives Gecko's salvation. I have more important information about the survival of Gecko. But I can't get anyone to listen to me. What kind of information? Well, I've calculated that if our reactor was running properly, we could generate an enormous amount of excess power, far more than Gecko needs. Yeah, so... I have also found out from a reliable source that Vault City cannot expand without additional power. Vault City can't expand. Vault City, you see, has enough power for their current needs, as long as they are careful. <clears throat> but the Vault Power Plant that they use was never designed for their increased load, the increased load their city is putting on it. It's at peak capacity right now. Without more power, they can't expand. So, how does that help us? Well, if our power plant's working better, we could trade our excess power and tactical expertise to Vault City in exchange for medical technology. Without more power, Sport City will burn out the reactor within 15 years. 
If Gecko's, re if Gecko's re reactor isn't repaired, I will have to scroll up and continue my monologue. We, if Gecko's reactor isn't repaired, we won't last half that time. Without medical technology, all of us ghouls are going to die off in the next 20 years anyway. Everyone loses a vault city, and Gecko don't cooperate. Oh, it's hard to do that voice. <clears throat> so, you're just a good Samaritan, huh? No, I don't buy that. Hmm. Not at all. I got my end covered. That'd be the natural choice to administer the project. Greed is my driving force. But thousands of lives are saved by it. Greed is good, I believe. If it would be. Anyone, if I could get anyone in both city to read my economic data. I might be able to show the data to someone in Vault City. Well, I have all the relevant academic, economic data on a disk. You may have it. If you promise to show the data to someone in Vault City, I can understand and make use of the data it contains. But be discreet with it. Not everyone there will be happy you talk to our schools. Okay, I'll take your disk. I'm sure that I can put it into the right hands. Goodbye. Anything fancy here? I don't think so. Yeah, don't think so. Let's see, can how do we get okay, from right here? The skater is. Hello there, I'm Skeeter. I sort of put things together here. Have you heard of a gap? Hmm, looking for a Kit Kat. Well, I don't rightly know where you might find one of those things. I know that Vault City probably used to, used to have one themselves. Vault City had one. They sure did. That's how they've done so well off. It sure didn't ca ain't cause they know what to do. It's cause the Gek done started up their crops. And got their town running when they, they came out of the vault. So, do you know who would have an unused kit? Hmm, let me see. As I recall, <clears throat> as I recollect, most vaults were supposed to have themselves a kit. You might try looking for another vault somewhere. Thank you for the advice. Let me ask you something else. What do you do around here? Mostly, I just tinker with things. Take them apart, try to put them back together. Mostly. Make them work better sometimes. Keeping myself out of trouble. That's what I mean. Yes. Let me ask you something. I have some things that I might want to have you take a look at. Hmm. What do you want me to look at? Hmm. Hmm. It looks as though you could bolt an accessory to this long arm. Hmm. Peter studies your long arm knots. You can put a nice all with all with a scope on that hunting rifle for about four thousand. Hmm. Other. Okay, so pistol, having rifle. So scope, or I have to reload. But actually, I don't want to reload. But so the scope could be good. It does mean I need to grab some more. 
Uh, let me just say, but will mean that I will have to farm some more caps. Oops. Take a look at. Um, right. I'd like the scope on the rifle. Well, this might challenge. Might challenge, but I think I can fix this up really nice for you. Just sit tight for a while. He takes the weapon over, over to his workbench and locks it in a really big vice. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, my voice, my, my voice is just like, you've been doing a deep gravelly voice, why have you done this? As you wait, you can see Skeeter's back as he works on your weapon. You don't know exactly what he's doing, but there, that weird chuckle and all the pounding are making you nervous. More pounding and crack cackling as you wait some more. You whistle tunelessly and make shadow puppets against the back of... Back wall of Skeeter's workshop. Eventually, some of those shadows move on their own. There you go. You wake suddenly as Skeeter takes your weapon from the workbench, and you can see a, a number of small, shiny metal parts lingering on the bench. <laughs> lingering on the bench as Skeeter returns your weapon to you. That should do it. I reckon. Give her a try. Thank you. Thank you, Skeeter. I'll go try it out. That, that'll be nice. That will be nice indeed. Okay, then I'm going to go back here and see what was available. Let's see if it's just like a daytime thing. Barter. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> really just nothing. Let's see what's in the actual thing. A lot of stuff. Let's just talk in. Welcome to the atomic power plant. Just warned you. Anything goes wrong while you're inside, you're gonna blow him you, Smokeskin. That's only fair, I suppose. I'll be careful. I think so. Don't think there really is anything I'm looking for in particular. I do not know what's going on around here, so... I think this is going to be a case where I'm just going to go, you know what? I do not know what I need from there, and... So I will just go back to Vault City and grab the stuff I need. Also, I've, I've realized it's been close to just like... 40 minutes. Actually, I'll probably just wrap it to like 30 minutes of just talking. Like talking with characters. And I'm I'm trying to think, how am I going to speed that up? Or how am I going to break it? It might just be a long episode. It'll, it'll be like a really short episode followed by a very long episode. Because the last with the last recording... The little bit I did in Vault City ended up being, you know, or about, ended up being about 10 minutes. So it did not last very long. 
Okay, let me talk to this dude. Say, hey, I've got a proposition. Uh, you can. Was there something else you wanted? Actually, don't mind. I needed to. Status. Alt city. Oh, yeah, okay. Look, I said, if you get, if you got custom business, what else is in the back there? Okay, he'll set you up with the, all the forms you need. Talk to him again. Uh, leader. Such as... What is your problem with the uh, gecko? Oh, uh, that's not my place to say. You'd have to speak to the first citizen about such matters. So what are you saying about raiders? Recently, we've uh, experienced a rash of particularly brutal raider attacks. We had uh, attacks in the past, but nothing like this. I fear these raiders might eventually breach our laser turret defenses. Hmm. So, what else can you tell me about these raiders? Uh, um, not much. We can't seem to find where they're striking from. Uh, Citizen Sergeant Stark may know more, but he's uh, in the corrections center inside the facility. If I track down these raiders, will you let me in the city? Hmm. Certainly. If you can find the raiders' base camp, I'll grant you a day pass. That's a deal. Goodbye. So, you see, I messed up because all we, all I needed to do was find the raiders. Where with the first attempt, I thought I needed to take out the raiders to get in. No, I just needed to find them, report back, and then get some more stuff. Okay, but this time, we'll do exactly that. We'll go over, find them, and then go back. <laughs> I know roughly where it is. Keyword on the roughly. Ouch. I should have saved before I left, but oh well. <laughs> the damage has been done. <sighs> I'm just trying to see, do I have any other weapons that I use? But no, I don't think so. Ooh, that's actually a lot of them, but not too surprising, I guess. Ooh, sweet. Scoped rifle is going to do wonders for me. Okay, that one's knife, that one's spear, that one's knife, that one's unknown, that one has a gun. We will go shoot the girl. Not a bad hit. Damn. Okay, that one's trying to do unarmed. Yeah, can I still? Mm, not as effective, so let's reposition myself over here. Not at all. Why can't I? Oh no, I'm, I'm too close now. Or actually, I have no idea why. Actually, yeah, it's probably a case of I'm too close now. Whoops. Well, I'll just... Go for that one. Actually, I should have just switched to my... Eagle, since I was too close. <laughs> since the issue was me being too close to the enemy, I should switch to the closer range weapon. Okay. 
And he blew up his ammo again. This is why we don't give him that much ammo. Okay, walk over here. Hmm, surprisingly, right behind him. Not the greatest accuracy. Let's do a basic. And there's a good old shot. I do enjoy when they critically miss. Oh, I got hit instead. Whoops. Okay, let's check what his health is doing. Yeah, he's wounded, so it should be fine. Um, let's just have him double over. Yeah, surprisingly fine. Yeah, let's up that AC. Miss fools and critically fail. That's the best part about missing, because I am the Cursed King! Also, if you ever wonder what I do with the- if- <laughs> I should say, if you just watch my streams or the VODs... Ah, oh, dang, I got knocked over. That's unfortunate. Um, if you just, like, watch the streams or the VODs, and you never actually watch the editor content, and you wonder, what do I do for these very slow- not very exciting combat battles. Um, well, these ones, where it's just in between areas, I just flat out cut. But, the ones that... The ones where... Uh, mm -mm -mm, where it's actually like part of a quest or something, not just a random encounter, uh, I will just speed that up usually eight times speed is actually a very satisfying speed to watch fallout 2 combat Ooh, that was loud Through there and right back ahead i failed dang it this is why I just, I don't go for anything less than max. No! Dude. He's severely wounded. I might actually have to reload, actually. Or not. Well, reload the uh, save. But I don't want to look down. <laughs> they missed and they died. Yay, okay. Toldic's still alive. Bang. I miss. No, I, I, I hit. I just wasn't tons of damage. Back of the head. Okay, throwing drop for crit. They run away, they run away. Perfect. Yay, Solik is alive still. Well, you know. 
since the dogs are focused on me. I take a few hot shots. Oh, that's very satisfying. Scope weapons. The scoped rifle makes it so much more powerful. Also, I, I love the fact that the dogs just effectively will end up dying from just missing me. I don't think I get a loop down because they are off the screen. <laughs> Overkill, overkill, but let's get that done. Okay, ooh, almost a thousand XP for that. That was actually quite nice, I must say. Grab that from them. That from them. Oh, that was a stun machine gun. That could have really did some damage. Um, okay, let's heal. I'm gonna heal Solik up first, honestly. Okay, let's try that again. Also, the the skill like healing and stuff, I very much also cut out. Please do some more healing. Okay, perfect. Okay, might as well do that final one. Yay! Okay, how are you looking, man? He's still looking severely wounded, but okay. Is there anyone in here? Or has it been... What's in the creek? Nothing. Looks like it's a full crate, but there's nothing. Blinding. Go for him. Okie dokie. Let us say that. <clears throat> Just so I don't have to do the healing rolls again. Oh dang, another one. Yep. Okay, this, this time I'm just going to run away. Perfect. Do enjoy when they aggro on me. Okay, where is it? I know it's somewhere close by. Uh, map of Fallout 2. Because it's so much easier to look up the map. Okay, it's a lot farther south. Than I remembered. Bunch of raiders. They got a bunch of guns. I'm going to say run for it. Nice. That was a, some good hits. Also, some banger lines from Solik. Can you feel the rhythm, man? So close. So like dodge a shotgun. And out of here. Because I just want to get there and then get out. And I also don't want to do that many different battles. 
Okay, bunch of raiders. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna just say, let's pop into the cave. There's a bunch of uh, red scorpions, and there is no secondary exit. So I do like that some of them have secondary exits so that you can escape from whatever ails you that was outside previously. Well, you are correct on the no survivors. No, there is a lot more of them than I thought there were. Okay. Bam. Bam. Double tapping. Definitely goes through a lot more ammo, but, um... I, I can do that. Because I, I don't have good enough accuracy to snipe them. Snipe their head or their eyes yet. I'm just better off just trying to hit them. Yeah, I don't really even have anything good for crit chance, but I seem to be doing pretty good today. And he failed. He's not dead yet. Bitch. To the deagle. He's dead. And I'll just do basic. Pop. Pop, 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 paparazzi. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I'd say I like when I take the aggro, but sometimes it's, it's not so great for my health. Boom. Boom. Dick's taking some damage. I'm taking some damage. Ouch. Ouch. Solak. Okay, that one's down. Ooh, he's getting hurt. She's down. Ouch. It is. Okay, Vic's not dead. He's just nearly dead. Back that one. I need to reload that fortunate. Yep, grabbed aggro. Wounded. Wounded. What? What did he even aim at? He was facing away from his target. This is why I'm just like, eh, I guess you can have the extra ammo that I'm not using. Because I knew it was going to be just blown up very consistently. Okay, she's dead. That was a good hit as well. Some good damage. What is Solik doing? Just whee! <laughs> just looping around. It's like, what are you doing, man? Now I need reload. That's right. Just passing the turn. Let him get close. 
Yes, he, he, he tried to punch me and failed miserably. Notebook, I still have a terrible chance to hit with a cult shot. And he failed again. Nobody did actually. No. Down on the ground. That was a lot. And I got even less XP for it, though. That was definitely more difficult. But, uh, we did it. Ooh, that's a nice shotgun. <laughs> Also did realize I also got this. That's also really nice. I'm getting some good weapons out here. Yeah, some good weapons. Also, not very much ammo. Which is unfortunate. Also, yeah, it was just like, I am probably going to be full up soon. Trade. Just so I can have him carry these for the time being. Where'd the other one go? Oh, maybe I accidentally hit drop a little. Grab this guy. Some gold. And I can't see anything else. Okay. Barely wounded. Wounded. I'm nearly dead. Let's do some doctor on me first. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, and six. Just so I don't have to do that. Okay. Let's try and heal him some. Try to heal him some. Get some healing at the very least. Okay. And a little bit more healing. Me, hopefully. Okay. Not gonna get any more healing. Okay. Healing done at the very least. Then we have to get back as well. But I do have a lot of new fancy toys, I will say that. Okay, let's also save again. I'm I'm now seeing how I I kind of get lower on the energy level as the stream the recording goes on. Because once I get like a few of those, it's like okay, I'm doing this, doing this, doing this. And it's not like ooh ah ooh ooh ah so I kind of understand why, near the end of the recording, I'm always just like, doing this thing. Okay, let's try and walk there.
There's a lot of pressure plates, I'll be honest. I don't think that really was the uh, right way to go, I have a feeling. I did not notice that pitfall of trap, it seems. Ooh, I am fairly, fairly damaged, I will say. It just keeps walking back and forth, back and forth. I have found the raider's lair. Perfect. I did end up accidentally blowing all that up. The one of the two times the trap skill is actually used. Okay, let us save as we head back to Vault City. And then also, I... We'll have to go through a bunch of inventory stuff once I find a, a vendor to sell some things to. Because I got a bunch of new guns to sell, most likely. Also perfect, a, a nice safe trip back to Vault City with no extra engagements. Oh, I also did drop the... Gotta pick up the, the other thing I dropped. Oh, well. We'll put this weapon away. Okay, so another armor. Combat control. What do you, what are you wearing? You're wearing metal armor, which is roughly the same. So actually, I meant trade, but okay. Oh yeah, you also have still some leather armor on you and leather jacket. I really should take those off of you. Um. What else? Nothing too much. Eventually I will sell those two. Those two leather armors as well. Now. Go to here. And I'm four actually. I'm gonna check. What's that damage? 8 to 16. Ranges. Is, is better, but the damage is lower. Damage about the same, good from close range. Oops, didn't mean to drop it. I meant to... Da -da -da. I meant to drain the ammo, but it's already out of ammo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems to be better damage. 
but I kind of do, I do like pistols, I'll be honest. So I also now have combat shotgun, and that's better than everything, so I'll probably just use a shotgun. <laughs> Um, and for this, oh, it is also a shop. Fifteen twenty-five. It has better range, though. So, This one's a lot heavier as well. The the only thing I worry is since it's a longer range, is it not good in melee? <laughs> I do have enough strength for it at the very least. Uh, ooh, this is where the internet is useful. As I will figure out. Theoretically, this is stuff I could do off stream. I don't want to deal with it now. Mm -hmm. Just because I want to see is it good for melee or not? Uh, oh, it also has a burst. Oh no, it also has a burst fire of shotguns. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, okay. comparing, pairing. It literally has no mention. Oh. Oh no, weapon anything. Huh. Okay. Interesting. The shotguns are more accurate. I didn't realize that was a mechanic. I like that. There's a there's a few other things, but mostly just shotguns. So I think I'll I'll use the shotgun. Um da -da 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 -da. I think I'll end up using the H and K cost just just because it has better range and it has a, a lower it has a smaller magazine. It has a smaller magazine, which means that if I if I, if I miss which I shouldn't. But if I do, and I critically fail and blow up the entire magazine, that's less waste to damn. Uh, also, I should give... Five millimeter, which I believe is that. I should give... Cool. Um, I should give him an assault rifle, so that way he has some range to him. That's one of them. This, I believe, that was the right. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. And then... Is that enough or... Oh, perfect. I can also then just sell both of those. Uh, combat control. Use your best weapon. Nice. Now, okay. Ooh. Don't need, or I can use the ammo at the very least. And let's sell to this dude. Well, hello there. What can I do for you today? I'm looking to trade. Can I see what you have and stuff? Also, just... <laughs> I love doing the voices. But this also will get cut out. Because it's it's not... It's not fun. It's... Or at least I don't think... You know, you can you can say in the chat or say in the comments of the VOD that you're like, oh no, I really like the trading and the, that stuff. Um, but for like the series content, I, I just do not believe that is like an enjoyable thing. Like, yes, let me see you sit, just sit there and go, hmm, ha, hmm, as you trade and make decisions. You don't have that much money. But you do have ammo, so I'll take that gladly. Okay, well, let me uh, grab those. A shovel might be useful. Actually, do I have a shovel or did I get rid of the set? No, I, I do have set. I do have a shovel. <laughs> And okay, let me pop those and two thousand. <laughs> oh, maybe this one is why I just can't find any vendor to grab every or be able to sell things to. Hmm. Let me just get more stim packs though. That's always useful. Um, I don't know how much it weighs, but I do know it weighs something. Let me grab this ammo. This ammo. This ammo. This ammo. Throw in these leather jackets. Mm -hmm. Throwing the submachine gun in. Way too much. Okay. Throwing this leather jacket. And figure out how much that is. Okay. I need... 108. 108. I've made off with a lot more ammo and a little bit more money. Okay. And also stick. And still very full of uh, inventory. Ooh, okay. But I now know where the, the raiders are, so boy. Okay. Back down here. Morning. That way, I can go in here and go, hey, I found where the raiders are, and now I have this entire... Oops, I guess I had already had opened. Hey, Ben. There's something else you wanted. I found the raiders' camp. You have? That is excellent news. Uh, let me give you a day pass so you can tell the first citizen. Here you go. The pass is only good during the day. At night you'll you'll be asked to leave. Now go. I'll go do that. Okay, so that's what the day pass is. I'm glad it isn't just like one day, that's it. 
Did I pass, please? Here you go. All right. But you, before you go in, we have to search your belongings. Uh, and what you looking for? Sometimes outworlder, outworlders try to smuggle alcohol ha or have it forming chems into Vault City. Okay, feel free to search me. I do have those on me. I, I do have to uh, drop them. Actually, Solik, my man! What you be needing? Because I might as well hold on to Oh, so he has more hunting rifles. I have so much loot. Da -da. Pop that there, that there. That's new cola. Do there. Okay. That for now. Here we go. Okay. Okay, perfect. I am the only one who gets searched. My minions are totally fine. Ready. Where's Avenger? Avenger. Manatees. Manatees. Animation Center. Not seeing anything. So we'll just go from from here. <laughs> yes, can I help you? I was looking for some information. Oh, like what? Uh, what's like? What do I know about this? <laughs> like, but does Vault City have much contact with the outside world? Not much. Most contact we have with outsiders is merchants traveling traveling the big circle caravan trail from Broken Hills, New Reno, Reading. Only other place outside the caravan trail that I know of is Gecko. Where is Broken Hills? It's a mining com community like Reading, except, for, except it's located to the far south. Like, we get many of our uranium shipments from there. Okay, something else. Um, actually... It's a ways to the e to the southwest. Totally not the east. I hear conflicting reports about Reno. Some merchants, especially the slavers, really love it there. Other merchants don't. City with a lot of glitter. A lot of trouble, I hear. Okay, and Reading. It's a mining town far to the west. We haven't seen too m too many caravans from them recently, and it's got some of the high ups a little worried. Senior Councilman McClear, especially. What about Gecko? Town of Ghouls, less than a day's travel to the northeast. As I understand it, rumor hat is they prey on any travelers that enter their territory. Best stay away. Basically, a case of uh, we don't know what they are, so we f we we think they're evil. <laughs> what do you have on tap? We have synth synthetic beers, liquor, vodka, tequila, derivatives, WNW2, ON water, and brahm milk, and beer, or liquor, and 10 bucks, water, milk, and food. Um, I think I'll pass. Thank you. Okay, so not nothing useful, really. Okay, what? Who are you? Hello there, stranger. Always a pleasure to see a new face. Name's Randall. I'm the chief amenities after officer. Need anything? Well, it depends. What is this place? This is the amenities office. Got your typical stock, basic living necessities, some books, how-to manuals, some tools, stim packs, medical supplies, this and that. Hmm, that sounds good. Can I see what you have in stock? Well, sorry to break it to you, but I'm only authorized to do transactions with citizens. No offense to you, but it's the rule, you know. 
Might try Happy Harry's out in the courtyard. What if I ask you other questions? Um, okay, nope. So basically I'll, I'll need to become a citizen to... But that's where I'll, tr I'll trade once that happens. Okay, who are you? Hello and welcome, traveler. Have you heard the word today? Hmm. I know, I haven't. The word, my friend, the word is selflessness. Selflessness. It's in a slew of... Oh no, it's not selflessness. It's selfishness. Mix in a slew of arrogance, and what do you have? All the city, and all its rights, right, self-righteous, slave trading glory. So why do you live here, if you hate it so much? Why? We're better to preach than those that need to hear the most. I suppose you... I suppose you're right. Who are you? My name? I'm Thomas More, preacher of the word and the truth. And what brings you here to, you to me today, friend? Do you seek the word? The word? Um, okay. Let me just look here. Guess saying it's gonna be this dude. What do you want? Hmm, depends on who you are. I'm um, Citizen Sergeant Stark, outsider. What do you want? What do you do here? I run the Corrections Center, keep the Outworlders in line, make sure the servants behave, organize patrols, try and protect the city from raiders. Raiders, you say? Yeah, raiders. They've been hitting us pretty hard lately. What do you want to know about them? I'd like to try and find them. I'd like to try and find their base, maybe stop the attacks. Hmm. Are you some kind of good Samaritan? I don't buy it. Well, I'd like to help if I could. Oh yeah? Well, track and tackling this band of raiders may be more than you can handle. I said I'd like to try and help. Well, I ain't gonna turn down any help at this point. If you find their base, or even wipe them out, go tell the first citizen. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I have found their base. You did? Where is it? Down south. Series of caves in the mountain. Yeah, let me point it out. Go tell the first citizen at once. You'll want to know about this meeting. All right, I'll go tell. And I'm assuming that's going to be in the vault, but I do want to see what that what is up north. Okay, maybe it's actually up north. Because <laughs> this looks very dang important, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, eh, maybe not. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll go check in the vault first. Cause it didn't look like a. It, that was not what I was expecting from a central. Council. I was expecting like a council room, not like a library. I like libraries, let's be honest. Libraries are great. I'm sorry, only citizens are permitted to enter the vault. I'm sure you understand. Ah, okay. Hey, okay, so never mind. So it probably is up there. Mm hmm. What did that sign say? <laughs> Parlor rooms. Okay, so which one of these people are the was the right person? Is it her? Good day to you, stranger. I am first citizen Lynette. <laughs> May I inquire as to your business here? Excuse my ignorance, First Citizen, but does the title First Citizen mean you're an overseer 
Clipper Vault? Overseer? Why, no. There has been no Overseer in a hundred years. How do you know of the Vault Overseers? I'm a descendant of the first Vault Dweller. I have heard many stories of the Overseer. Descendant of the Vault Dweller? What do you mean? I'm the great-grandchild of the first Vault Dweller. The first Vault Dweller? What? You must mean another Vault. We have never been in contact with another Vault. Where is it located? <laughs> I don't know, you see. I'm trying to find the vault my ancestor came from. Oh, now I understand. But what proof do you have that your ancestor was from a vault? I have the sacred arc artifacts of the vault. His vault suit and his holy flat. A dirty vault suit and a battered canteen? That is your proof? Who knows where you scavenge those relics from? Or who you killed to steal them? Please, look at them. They are genuine. Very well, let me see. These... These are authentic. Unbelievable. You are a survivor from another vault. Welcome to our city. You must have suffered much in the outside world. Hmm. I need to find the vault my people came from. Hmm. Perhaps some mention of your vault is in our computer archives. Hmm. Are we able to check that? We could check the vault computers. They would probably have the information you seek, but only citizens are allowed to access the archives. In that case, is there some way I can become a citizen? You may speak with Proconsul Gregory. He has authority to administer the citizenship test. He can be found in the meeting room down the corridor. Corridor. Probably this dude. I'll go talk to the Proconsul pro then. Now, uh, yeah. Either this dude or this dude. Also, I love how slow Vic walks. Just like, I have a gun. I don't know how I feel about this. So they just kind of like, just marches on. Just like, ah, uh, why was I given this? I'm sorry, can I help you? Who are you? I'm pro Council Ge Gregory. Is, is this the office you were looking for? What do you do? I'm the assistant to the first citizen. I schedule her appointments, administer the citizenship test to potential applicants, and update all the lists on the Vault City server. No small task, I assure you. The citizenship test? Yes, I'm the re responsible. I'm. Responsible for administering the citizenship test to anyone who wishes to become a citizen of Vault City. What is the test? It is a comprehensive exam divided into several parts. Advanced mathematics, spatial rel relations, deductive reasoning, language comprehension, and... Oh, and there is also thorough physical examina examination. Sounds difficult. I'd like to take it. Hmm. Well, anyone may take the test. I think in your case, however, it would be a waste of time for both of us. Some of your cal of your caliber is simply not citizen material. In any regard, I'd like to take it. Very well. Your know, forms 52-8 and 6-1-1-2 and the Pip-Boy answer comes. Please be sure to fill in each circle completely. Now, if you would take a seat over there. All right, time's up. Let's see your form. Mm, oh, that's wrong. That's not right either. Divide by zero here. Here. Mm. We carry the two. Oh, my. 
vocabulary is sadly lacking as well, I see. Well, I regret to inform you that I cannot grant citizenship at this time. Frankly, you don't have the intelligence now. Right. I could. I have at least good intelligence. <laughs> what intelligence do I need? What intelligence do I need for that? I swear, if I need a seven. have to have nine of perception, intelligence, and luck. Okay. But I, I also want to... Yes? What is it? Okay. Now I can actually ask about the... or ta tell about the raiders. What is it? I found their base. They're holed up in a series of caves in the foothills to the south. You have? Excellent. But the city guards are already stretched thin. What about you? Could you end the attacks? I'll pay you. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. I am nowhere close to geared for that. What are, who are you? Hello, can I help you? Who are you? I'm Senior Council McClare, and you are? Well, do. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? Can I ask you some questions? What is it that you would like to know? What do you do around here? Senior Council Member, I oversee the, oversee the Council meeting. What does the first citizen do? He is the leader of the people. Citizens of Alt City look to her for guidance. But the citizens, through the council, still have a final say on matters. In these trying times, she is a pillar of our society. Trying times? What do you mean? Things have been tough these last two years. The NCR has been getting more and more aggressive in their attempts to get Alt City to join the Republic. They tell us that if we were to join, they would be able to defend us from the raider attacks on our city. As of late, these raider attacks have become more brutal. On top of all, all of this, we have ghouls and gecko contaminating our groundwater. Where is Gecko? It is just northeast of here. But if you're planning on going there, I would I would advise you to purchase some anti-radiation cannons. If they are contaminating our water, it's, it is likely their town itself is irradiated. What is Gecko? Another question. Uh, I believe we may have a part that could fix Gecko's power plant. What do you mean? If I had a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, I could make the, their plant run clean. That is an acceptable solution. Stopping the radiation poisoning is all I care about. Great. Where could I get this part? Go see Randall, the chief amenities officer. He should have that part in stock. There's one other thing. You might find this economic data disk interesting. The data disk that shows the amount of energy the Gecko's atomic power plant produced before the war. 
and could and could produce again. Hmm. I see. So, what does this have to do with me? Well, as I understand it, Vault, Vault City's power generator can only support so many people. In fact, it's already nearing its limit. I could ask you how you came by that information, but if it were true, what are you proposing? Once the Gecko power plant is fixed, the disk indicates it's possible it could produce enough energy for Vault City 2. Looks like the reactor would need to be optimized first, though. Are you suggesting we seize Gecko and take their power plant? I will not. No. If Gecko could receive the optimization data for the power plant, I'm betting that they would be willing to trade their excess power for medical supplies. As far as medical so assistance goes, I'm not unsympathetic to the plight of the ghouls. They have certainly suffered enough. How could we optimize their plant? That I do not know. Maybe there's someone I can talk to once the plant is repaired. I have no objections to your proposal. But if you can find some means of optimizing the plant, let me know. All right. I'll go get that part from Randall and see about repairing the reactor first. I'll keep the economic disc and study some more. Perhaps I can persuade the council to enter negotiate negotiations with Gecko to trade for the power. The data disc would be a strong art argument in itself. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks. I also did that quest. And I need 800 more XP to go up another level. Okay, so we'll pop down here, go talk to Randall, go, hey, buddy. So that way I can get that thing. Um, and then help repair. That way I can help repair Gecko's thing. And then we can wrap up the stream. Because <laughs> the idea was I was going to I was gonna help out with Gecko stuff. Hello there, stranger. Always a pleasure to see another new face. Uh... Councillor McClare said you'd have a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator in stock that I could have. Mm. Yeah, he said you'd be stopping by, Beldrum, right? In a moment, and I'll get you the hydroelectric magnetic thingamabob. All right, thank you. Okay, here you go. One thingamabob. Kind of look like a lava lamp, doesn't it? Oh, don't drop it. It's pretty fragile. Got it. And thank you for the pop. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we're on the way back to Gecko, or will be shortly. And I've got a new bigger gun. It's a shotgun. Not that one, actually. It's this one. And then let's head to Gecko. Turn in that quest, or turn in the part, and herald, um, settlement, actually, I guess, I can pop this back in. Oh, herald, oh, 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 oh herald. What you need, youngster? Hey, herald, I got that part you need to fix your reactor. Guess I should get it installed somehow. How do I install it? <laughs> that I also might have to look up. Hmm. 
Nope, needed one more step. Like to this dude. I'm sure I do need directions or something. Well, what do you want help finding? The reactor control room, supply room, robot control room, or reactor pit? Um, that is a good question. Okay, pro tip everyone, never look at a wikia on your phone because there there's only ads for 50% of your screen. If not more. Okay, da, 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 da. honestly probably would have been easier if I just alt tabbed and looked for it. Hmm. Okay, pair two. Da -da -da. Okay. The robot control room. Don't know why you want to go there. Yeah, maintenance robot hasn't worked right in years. Just past the reactor control room, though. The key card. Maybe you got one of those. I like how it doesn't mention a key card, but it's like... I think Jeremy has a key. Guards and security doors have keys, and do some of the people that live in here live here in the reactor. Thank you. I need a repair then. Where is actually still not saying where the robot is? Unfortunate. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save. So there's pretty much two two routes to do this. It looked. Um, one is. Nope, okay, so I need, need to talk to someone first. Who's this person? And basically, either I run in, I repair it, and take a bunch of radiation damage, or I program the robot to do it. But I need to be able to get there either way. 
because I need to figure out who to talk to to get the key card. I know it's a Jeremy, but... Ah, there's a Jeremy. Hello there. My name's Jeremy. I'm in charge of the all-power supply cabinet here. I keep track of all our supplied stores. All powerful. Okay, maybe not all powerful, but that's pretty damn important. What do you want? I need something for storage. Well, if you want something for storage, you need a request authorization form. Do you have? No, I do not. Uh, you could get one from either Harold back in the settlement, or you can get one from Thesis right here in the main reactor control room. I don't care who you see, but whatever, you, as long as you get the thing, you get the thing. Can I bargain? <laughs> oh, there are things to bargain. I have no idea what this is, but it's darn cheap, so I'm, I'm also... Let me just grab the ammo. <laughs> It's like, ooh, don't mind if I do. That's too much. Too much. Nice. Actually, let me just take that and take the rest of the money and call it good. We get 30 extra gold. Not 30, just 3. I don't know what that other thing is, but I'm like, okay, I don't know what it is, so I'll grab it. Okay. And you have to... Okay, so let's go back to Harold. I'm gonna say. So like, hey, I need a, I need to fill out a form. I need to fill out a form. What you need, youngster? Uh, talk to Clement. Talk to what? Okay. Um. What you need, youngster? <laughs> well, sorta. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who'd have thought I'd be making? We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, and it need. We get our fuel from the Broken Hills. That's a mining community. <laughs> Take dirt naps. Okay. Vault City doesn't play not. We need a hydroelectric magnetus. What you need, youngster? Uh, da, da, da. I I really wish that was would do something. <laughs> okay, so how do I? How do I get the best here? Do I do it? So let me just talk to main group again. Okay, now I'm going around because I got blocked. Blocked by my own people! We get a key card. Okay. Uh, that's not gonna help. It, can I find it in here? Can I talk to this dude? Oh, yellow key card. Okay. That's all I need, actually. Okay, perfect. Got the key card I needed. Talk to this dude. Oh, wait, I need to use the key card. You. Slight downside with the uh, older <laughs> games. It's like, let's go. Oh, yeah. Something's not working. Key cards need to be used.
Wait, what link? Nothing like that. Okay. And then I believe this is at least the thing I'm above. Or maybe not. Go to there. It doesn't look like that's actually. Okay, who are you? What brings you to this part of the my atomic reactor? No, well, I have a part that you can use to fix the reactor. Hmm. You have a spare hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator on you. You actually know what that is. Of course. Are you ready to install it? I guess I could install it. I'm certainly the only one that could install it, right? Installing it is pretty tricky, though. Let's see. Is this something that will work? Oh, okay. No, this is actually fairly easy. Here's a regulator. I knew I could count on you. Okay, I'm... I'm here. But I'm still not sure that this isn't the right part, or... It's not trapped somehow, you know? I'm... I'm much too valuable to waste. Maybe I should, uh, just let someone else do this later? Much later? It needs to be done. Now. You're the only person that can do it. Come on. All Gecko depends on you. It was difficult. But I did do I did it. I'm a hero. Four thousand and change. Yes. The level up. I don't know what I will do with my skill points. I'll have to think about that. So that will be a off a stream thing because I don't have the remotest idea what I want to do <laughs> with them. Then maybe slap more points so I can do called shots, but um, I needed. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I'll just. I needed anyone anywhere from twenty to forty percent. Oh yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'll figure out what else I need before doing that. But all things considered, I can put the points in when I need. Okay, now I go talk to Harold. Go, oh, hey, buddy, I fixed the thing. You are something, just like the original. What can old Harold do for you, Vault Dweller? Vault Dweller? I'm not a Vault Dweller. 
You cut with the dull edge of the knife, don't you? You don't look like an orange peel left in the sun all day. Your skin's still soft and purty. What you need, youngster? Okay, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, I, I guess that, that did that. So I'll go back to Vault City, since I might as well finish that up as well. Like, hey, I, you know, did the, did the money thing. Not money thing, but the power thing. <laughs> the get me money thing, probably. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to actually go here. Oh well, I need to wait until the morning anyways. So, half a dozen, one other kind of thing. If I do have to run, I have to run. Running and running. Running and running, running and running, running run and running, running and running. Here you go. Okay. And then I'll talk to the dude again. The uh, councilman who's wizened and is actually willing to listen to people. And not just go, ooh, ghouls, and go bang, bang, bang. Or rather, it seems more just a case of, ooh, anything. Yes, was there something else you wanted? Um, oh, nope, never mind, what did I miss? Right, the optimization thing. I didn't save when I left. Um, okay, so I have to figure out the optimization thing. Not that one. Old city. Echo. Okay, I don't actually know. Um, actually, I'll talk to the first citizen and go, Hey, you don't have to worry about the groundwater anymore. See if that does anything. Um, I'll see if I can figure out the power thing as well at some point. That probably will end up being later, because I realize I need someone to optimize yes. it. Yes? What is it? No, okay. Literally nothing. Um... Yeah, actually, legitimately no idea where to go from there for the power plant stuff. That's just fully looking up, like, where in the world do I even remotely go? But, I think what we'll want to do, I'll want to do, is go, to, go down to the raiders. Um, oh, but I also want to clear out some inventory. So, what we will do... Is... We will save right here. I will figure out what I'm going to be doing for the next time, whether it's figuring out the optimization thing for the reactor, dealing with the raiders, figuring out where to sell a bunch of stuff so that I can pick up all the loot for the raiders, um, or whatnot. So, do I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, I want to say, let's go to the ending screen. Not that the, that will show, I guess technically will do the freeze frame kind of thing. Um, 
forgot what I was, I was thinking. Um, but yes, thank you everyone so much for watching today's stream. Uh, I, I, until, until I just remembered why I was doing the stream of getting, running away from my stress from the homework I did this morning, uh, I was completely stress-free again. <laughs> But I, I, in general, I am very happy uh, with what I got done in today's stream. Got a lot of progress done. Got a level up, which is always nice. A good amount of over XP as well. Got some big old weapons. Got some new weapons for that. Has, and probably still not ready for the raider camp, to be honest. But maybe. <laughs> Maybe we're closer, and maybe it'll be a case of they all try and shoot us from afar and miss and blow up their ammo and go, uh-oh, I can't shoot. And then they're effectively useless. So hopefully that's what ends ends and what ends up happening. But we will we'll see what I end up doing next time. And well, until next time. I hope y'all have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.